Hey family, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me and this is the look that I ended up creating. A nice little peachy, super gold. Actually, not super gold, more so like illuminated. And I used one of the new CoverGirl in her Exhibitionist, is it called? Exhibitionist lipstick, which feels amazing. And also in this video, I talk about just some of the things that I've been reflecting that I learned from my late husband, Curtis. And um, I'm going to share a lot of those things in this video. So I really hope you enjoy this chit chat. Get ready with me. You guys said you wanted more of those and I'm going to try to create more. If you guys like these types of videos, you already know. Give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe, y'all, and join the family. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And without further ado, just keep on watching. All right, so we're going to jump in. As I mentioned, today we're going to be doing like a get ready with me slash trying new products slash chatting about some things that have been kind of on my heart and stuff like that. So, um, I started my makeup off, obviously, by some moisturizer. This one is the Dermalogica Dynamic Skin Recovery Moisturizer, and it has SPF 50, which is perfect. I don't think I'm going to use a new foundation today. I don't think I'm ready. And by the way, P.S., I'm actually recording two videos at one time. Well, not at one time, but simultaneously. I'm doing a new, like, updated curly hair routine kind of thing as I'm filming this right here. So that's why my hair is kind of, like, semi-dry. So I'm going to try this primer I think I tried it once before, actually. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, this is the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer Radiance. Y'all, I'm not playing. Like, I really need to get, like, a manicure or something because it's just, like, ugh. I'm going to use this all around. It smells very, like, refreshing. I guess it kind of looks, like, a little chalky, though, right? Like when you first put it on. But now it's like definitely going on nicely. I feel like I haven't filmed a video, a makeup video in a really long time. So I'm looking at the mirror and I'm looking at the viewfinder to make sure that I'm like in focus at all times. Because you remember the last time I did a video with makeup, like I lost footage. I made it work though, I'm not gonna lie. I was sent all the, all the Fersali like uh, elixirs. This one is the Rose Gold Elixir 24 Karat Infused Beauty Oil. So I think I'm going to use it just like in the areas that I get like dry in. Actually, I'm going to put it I'm going to put it on the Beauty Blender. I don't know if y'all do that, but that's that's what we're going to do. I think I'm just going to use like the NARS foundation oh p.s faithful over famous this is a t-shirt sent to me by native supply it actually has like a little like um verse in the back but shout out to them for giving me this shirt it's really cute um they actually sent other shirts as well probably were like in another video we already know how this foundation does it's like amazing it's actually one of my favorite go-tos when I'm going, like, out and stuff. One, I want to talk about how this summer I have not been to no one's beach yet. I feel like I've traveled, um, but not, like, to a, like, vacation spot. Like, it has been really just for, like, conferences or, like, work or... Yeah, that's pretty much what, what it has been. And not, you know, I'm definitely grateful for those opportunities. But I want to go to somebody's beach. And I know I could go at any point in time. So I'm not even worried about it because I can go all year round to somewhere. But I'm just like, Lord, open the way. It's so hard to tell how this, like how my makeup looks with these lights. That's why I like to do natural lighting videos like upstairs in my room because you guys know this is like downstairs in the basement so i use studio lights okay and i'm so <laughs> i'm so uh yeah so i don't really know what we're creating here we're just trying new makeup so 
essentially the new makeup here was uh actually not new to me new to you but for Sally that's new the primer that's new and the concealer that I'm gonna use that's new and some of the stuff are not technically like new to me like I said <laughs> they've been around but I haven't like shown you guys so the new concealer I'm going to use is the Flawless Fusion Ultra Long Wear Concealer by Laura Mercier. So another Laura product. Laura, she, you know, she, she be sending me some stuff. I'm like, all right, boo. Oh, by the way, most of these things have either been sent to me or I have purchased. And I will, as always, make sure that I, wow, what happened there? Put the info, like all the details and stuff in the description box so that you guys can actually you know check it out i do want to talk about something i was thinking about earlier uh this week and i was like wow like i learned so much like being a wife i learned so much about me and essentially it had to do with a lot of things that i learned about curtis and things that not about him but that he kind of like taught me. So these are things that I've learned from him. I was thinking about that. I'm like, man, like I learned so much from him about myself and like how I should carry myself just as an individual and just like my level of confidence and my level of like not really being so concerned about what people think about you or what people say about you and I, I i will tell you like i've struggled with that yeah i've always wondered like i always thought about oh my god what is so and so gonna think about this or what is so and so gonna think about that and one thing that i learned from curtis or one of the things he he just taught me so much about just how to carry myself as a human being as someone who has dreams and aspirations and things that i want to pursue in life and that's that's something that I will I will forever carry like he spoke up he's the reason why I'm even talking to you guys right now on YouTube because he was like you gotta do it you feel it you you do it you go for it what's the worst thing that could happen what have you what do you got to lose I was like you know what you're right and so that's how the channel got started and you know, he really inspired me to just do what I got to do. I'm doing this all backwards. You know what? There's a lot of Laura Mercier products in this one because I was actually about to mention another product that I'm going to use that came in that same box. Secret Brightening Powder for Under Eye. Actually, before I do that. All right, so I'm using the It's My Rary palette and I'm using Mocha. And I don't think I've used this on my channel yet. So once again, new to you guys. Oh, not so new to me and I dust the the rest of it off because it actually does it's very pigmented and like you want to make sure you're not like you know looking like you cut your cheek or something like that <laughs> and I love a strong contour but sometimes I actually feel like it looks more dramatic on the camera let me diffuse that a little bit put up in here my hairline Make myself like look like I got a little bit of a, you know, color. I just realized I have like a white shirt on. I feel like this isn't even like, this is like my form of contouring. Like, I feel like there's definitely more dramatic forms of contouring, but that's just, that's how we gonna do it over here. Um, So I'm gonna go ahead and put that powder that I just mentioned right up under. I don't really bake. I just kind of let it sit for a little bit, but I try to press it in as, as um, I mean, gentle, but like definitely press it in so that it can really set the under eyes. So, so yeah, you know, he really like, as young as we both were, he really spoke so much life into me. And um, I feel like Curtis was such an old soul. Although we were both old souls, he was definitely like an old soul, which made him so much more mature than what the average 21 or whatever year old was. There's just so many life lessons that I learned from him. Another one is that, you know, one thing that he he really loved about me as a young lady before we got married was just that, that whole notion of how I carried myself um, and how I didn't give everything away. Some of you guys may or may not know 
I was actually a virgin before I got married and um it was just a personal choice that I that I decided and that was something that I really wanted to keep a promise to not only myself but to God like I was like God like I I really want to do this and so I was able to keep my virginity until the night that I you know <laughs> got married but essentially like obviously he knew that but even in the way that I just carried myself, I think it was also just my um, maturity. So if you're a young lady um, who is, you know, who really likes a guy and he seems like a really good guy and mature and whatnot, you know, he's not going to pressure you into doing anything that you don't want to do. One of the things that, like, like I'm saying, is that he really... He never pressured me to do anything. He actually acknowledged me and supported me in that decision. We made that decision together, even as, you know, we were approaching a uh, marriage. So um, I can actually talk more about that because I feel like I've never really talked about my um, that side of being married and, you know, and then now being single again and how I am managing that as someone who has been intimate and who has been in relationship in marriage give us a like if you guys want to hear a little bit about that oh don't you hate when that happens can y'all see that like when you get like makeup on your hairline so i'm gonna do my eyebrows with this product so yeah that got deep really quickly but it is true guys like i really loved um i really love like really learning like those things from him you know he was more experienced than i was and I feel like I'm not letting go of those things, kind of just being being who I am now and kind of just knowing and truly, like truly knowing who Curtis was. Like, I know Curtis would want me to be living my best life. You know, I know that's overused, but like, seriously, like he really would have been like, nah, like you need to go for that or you need to open your heart again. And obviously, you know, doing God's will and not wavering in that um, but he was definitely big on being yourself and who God has called you to be. So I just want to extend that to you guys. You know, I talk about that a lot, but I really learned that through witnessing him carry that out. You know, I feel like this is dark. I don't really need a lot of this product, actually. Yeah, I don't need a lot. All right, y'all, I'm going to get these brows done. Then I'm going to hop on to the eyes, which I'm going to use the Urban Decay Petite Heat Palette. This is the one. I love burnt oranges for my eyes. Like, for some reason, it really brings out my brown eyes. And I really like that. Why is one brow always, like better than the other like i don't understand that all right i'm also gonna go in with the glossier boy brow so i'm gonna go in with this palette right here and i think i'm gonna use this guy like these two guys right here actually these three it's called hot spell wild thing and heist so i'm gonna just go with one of the random little brushes that i have i'm really chill I do bring it up, bring it up though, but see how like unperfect <laughs> I'm doing this. You know, when I'm really like into it, then I'll do something. But honestly, for the most part, if I'm wearing anything, it's actually no. I ended up just staying with these two right here. And then the most orangey one, which is wild thing, I put toward like right there. The lid area. I'll take a little bit more of that hot spell. And this is how I do just circular motions. Sweep it in there. Extend it out. Like it really doesn't have to be hard. Alright, so then I'm gonna take one of these flat brushes. I crack up every time I do this because every beauty girl does this thing, just so you can see the thing better. Um, but it's just so funny to me. Like, I don't know why. 
just is. I'm gonna sweep some under my um on my under eyelid. Gonna diffuse it because I don't like when it looks like a line. I'm like trying to figure out what we're creating here. Like this is like a thing. All right, so this mascara I just literally have not used it. This is for real, for real new. Um, this is from Alme. It says all the benefits. It's waterproof, volume, length, definition, conditioning. All right, so you just wiggle it on there. Ooh, yes. Yes. Ooh. Ooh, absolutely. Wow, look at that. That looks amazing, y'all. Do you guys see that? The difference? I'm gonna put another coat on. Come on, Alme. This was uh, also a part of a PR gifting that um, was mailed to me, but I'm really loving it. So I also think that like, if you guys wanna send me some topics to talk about as I'm getting ready, because sometimes I'm getting ready and I think about certain things to talk about and I'm like, it's too late. Like, I'm already ready. It doesn't ever take me this long to get ready. But when I do a get ready with me, I'll just spend a little bit more time doing my makeup and just talk about the different things that you guys want to talk about. I am going to extend the conversation about soul care and self-care. I started that on my IGTV. I'm going to put the link to the the episode on um, below in the description box because I thought that that was like a great inter, um, introduction to what I really want that to be like, you know, and just the difference between self-care and soul care and how they're both really important in their own right and how those two balance very well can can cause a can can allow you to maintain a healthy life that doesn't mean that everything's gonna be perfect because that's not what this is about but it's definitely setting you up to have the right perspective when trials come when adversity comes because just because adversity is present in your life that does not mean that you're doing something wrong i'm gonna add a little bit of this beauty by pop sugar palette i'm just gonna like actually sweep this on because i feel like this might be like a little bit of a not a full-blown highlight but maybe like adding all right well that's cute i'm gonna use the elf palette the blush palette and it is the i think this is the light one yep this is the light one i got this at tj maxx for like the low i'm gonna use these two Blend it all together. Here's a trick that I like to do. Any sort of setting spray that I use, I put it on before I put my highlighter on because once I put my highlighter on, this thing like sticks onto it so nicely. And I feel like I wanna put first this Jelly Bean Illuminator by Fursali. This is the top of it. I'm gonna use my fingers to put this on let's see what that looks like i'm pressing it in because obviously i have like powder under there already wow oh my gosh wow that's beautiful so that's how it first looks when you first put it on All right, so now I can continue what I was doing. I'm gonna use my Urban Decay Chill. It's a makeup setting spray. It's for cooling and hydrating. So I'm just gonna go in with this. Please hold. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna go in with this. Let it dry just a little bit. And then what I'm gonna do is take my fan brush by real techniques i'm gonna use the anastasia glow kit sun dipped one this one and this one ah! 
Wow. I look like I just dipped in gold. Literally. Now we're going to go into the lipstick, which these are all brand new. I'm going to show you guys this box. Oh, look. All right. So let me just read what these are. So these are the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Lipstick Collection. There are 48 shades. Let's go for it. Let's see which one I should put on. This is what it looks like inside. It's huge. I naturally gear toward the nudes and of course the red, but I feel like I want to do... Okay, I feel like this one is calling my name. So how about we do Yummy Pink, Enchantress Blush. But let's also try this mauve one. It's called... Oh, it's called Romance Mauve. And I think that I'm going to do this lip liner called caramel nude all right so these are the three colors so let's actually dang i want to put them on my arm or actually on my hand i don't know i don't think that will go with this look what do y'all think i don't know but it's, it's so cute and actually looks like it's super moisturizing. Maybe I should go with something more mauve, which is, this one is the Romance. Oops. Ooh, this one is really pretty. And then the last one, I feel like it's not going to go with this look. See, this one is Enchantress Blush. Okay, cool. Didn't break that one. Oh, this one is like really light. But they're all super creamy. That's that one. I think I'm going to go with the Romance Mauve. Yep, that's the one I'm going to go with. And I'm sticking to it. What do you guys think? Should I have chosen the other one? Should I change it? Let me see what else we got in here. Oh, you know what? I just picked up this one. It's called Decadent Peach. I'm going to try this one. I'm going to take this one off. All right, so this one is called Decadent Peach. Yeah, Decadent Peach. It's a cream consistency. So I think I'm going to put this one on. I feel like it goes with the oranges and stuff in my eyes. These are the Alme Makeup Free Zone Eye Makeup Remover Pads. But I'm just going to grab one for my lips. Ooh. And I'm actually going to do it without the... Oh, wow. This is like a really good... Okay. It's small, but it's like... It takes the makeup off really well. Look, Shabon. Oh yeah, this is it. Yeah. I know I did that completely backwards, but I'm trying to make it a little bit warmer. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do to add some warmth to it. I'm gonna do the Ultra Cushion Lip Gloss 1993. I think it's called 1993, and it's the Hi-Fi Shine by Urban Decay. There you go. It added some warmth to it yes all right let me finish getting this look together i will come right back and show you the final product really i'm just gonna throw on some earrings that's it all right guys so this is the final look my hair is still a little damp but that's okay it is pretty much almost there i'm actually like i told you before simultaneously filming the other video as we speak so make sure you check out that video as well to kind of see what i put in my hair if you're kind of feeling the curls that are happening right now i know you guys probably seen it kind of grow as the video was developing so that's pretty much what happens to my hair it just like air dries and it just grows by the minute so i hope you guys love this look this is a very 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 dewy look um but i think that it actually feels really good and like not slippery and slidey comment down below like what has been like your favorite summer makeup product right now I want to know. I want to go ahead and see if I can try it, test it out. Um, summer colors. I always love these peachy, like fiery, uh, orangey colors because they, re they really work well with my eye color, like a brown color. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sure I'm going to go ahead and take a selfie. Um, make sure you give it some love at Love Michelle Anna on Instagram and Twitter. And yeah, guys, I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah.